Did you receive a SOS from Auroville? Did it go something like this? Auroville, was the city of the future. Conscious supreme beings, living in one with nature, were frolicking under the sun. Flawed but who isn't? Still better than rest of the world with their trees and cheese dosa and conscious coffee. They tried to make the world a better place. Until one day, an evil dictator swooped down on this land of love and peace and started destroying everything. With the help of some traitors, she conspired to destroy Auroville and trees and everything that is wonderful in this world. Come on man, that's the plot of Disney movies. Surely nobody fell for that. You serious? Who knew that such simplistic storytelling will have such an audience? I'd like to believe that you look at life a bit more deeply than a Hollywood movie meant to sell popcorns. If you buy this helpless victim versus cartoonish evil villain stories, this video is not for you. If you have allegiance to your friends and not the truth, this video is not for you. We can't help feudalistic minds anyways. However, if you saw these posts and had questions questions that they never seem to answer, Instead always asking their audience to do this. Do that. Sign a petition. Come to this place. Help us. Save us. Always asking and never offering. Allow me to offer you a better perspective. Nobody's disputing the master plan. Nobody's disputing the concept of Oroville. 12 seconds later. And this is how it started. Nobody was against development and yet they went to the NGT arguing Oroville to be made a Dean Forest, imagine a township that they have collected money for over 30 years, suddenly became a forest. The divine vision of Sri Aurobindo and the mother, of a city where Gnostic beings practicing integral yoga to bring new consciousness into the matter, was reduced to a stupid reforestation project when surrounding villages don't even have basic infrastructure to live properly. Thank God NGT rejected this argument outright. But this was also the beginning of their mass psychosis and their attraction to self-destruction. Because you see, imagine if NGT would have accepted their argument. Then their own houses, that they have built, would have been deemed illegal. These lavish houses include inside Darkali. Strange that these houses have no impact the highly fragile eco-sensitive area of Darkali. Must be made out of that special spiritual stuff, I guess. Thought we wouldn't notice, but we did. So the NGT verdict of the 28th of April 2022, categorically stated that this is not a forest. Did the biggest fans of laws and regulation respect that and stop calling this man-made plantation of some species, a forest? Not after a great start eh, but it just became progressively worse from there. These activists, having lived here for so long, still didn't bother to read the Foundation Act a public document that you can find via simple Google search. It clearly states three different bodies of Auroville Foundation Act and what powers and functions they all serve. It clearly states that all executive powers rests with the governing board and onus of development lies with them. Then these geniuses said, in consultation with the resident assembly. Do you believe that the RA should function as defined in the Auroville Foundation Act? Do you believe that what the RA decides should be honored? So now let us see what the RA has decided. The RA, the, the, the Foundation Act says that the Residence Assembly shall formulate a master plan for the approval by the government. The master plan that the RA prepared is here. It's this one. It's not that one. It's this one. And this was approved by the RA with some 90% majority in 1999. Been there. Done that. So then it became about, there is no detailed development plan. So some people have argued over how to in the last couple of days. How can you make the ground road before you have DEPs? The answer to that question is, the ground road is a master plan road, not a DDP road. The DDP will define what happens on both sides of that road. The DDPs have been partially prepared but some architects of our world, who are now critical of this, have themselves built and designed buildings without the DDP. All the buildings along the ground, Sola Kitchen, Library, Mahalakshmi, Arka, Kalpana, are built without there being a DDP of the ground. So when that was done, it was fine not to have a DDP. 
So if we are doing what you say, namely to honor the RA, then we have to honor that plan, that layout, and not discuss it every time when we do a few hundred meters of ground or anything else. The whole discussion starts afresh. Galaxy, Mother, Roger. When the cognitive dissonance became unbearable, they resorted to their brand of daily therapy. Boy, everyone is stupid except me. So then it became about taking present realities into account. Here is news and notes from 1999. As you can see, our green Jesus, Glenn was preparing to plant on the cultural zone in the crown radial. When objected, he said he is not planting a forest but timber for future. These anti-development landlords have no integrity or honor. As we are seeing today, their words meant nothing. They only wanted to derail the master plan from ever being executed and protect their own personal kingdom under the guise of saving the world. In the same issue, we also come across a simple effort to putting electricity through Auroville needed three months of discussion and there was no willingness to collaborate. My way or the highway is always the attitude of these divine beings. Compromise was made again by experts, just so that development is not blocked. And staying true to their character, they attacked the members who tried to bring about any change, accused them of nonsense. Putting personal interest in front of collective interest is a disease that has lasted here too long and that is what is being cured. Here is Mr. Pioneer Frederick himself, telling you how it is. There was a time in the beginning of Auroville, uh, when the idea was the workers of Auroville would all be housed in Pondicherry and bust to the working site. So it was a clear concept, this was a construction site. And maybe I take uh, the guilt of having insisted, no, I want to be in the city and by that spoil that plan. And Roger very often said about, you know, building houses within the city, uh, building roads, planting trees will create problems in the future. I said, no, 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 we cut them down, we shift them, we're all temporary buildings. And as he said, I know about your temporary. If our awareness would be here, these 2,000 and maybe 1,500 adults are not here to be safe and comfortable. They actually were meant to build the city and we don't know for whom. So taking into account the present realities actually means we have distorted the agreed upon plans because of our ideologies and now the world must comply to that and set aside any grander vision of the founder of the project. This is the benchmark of flexibility but don't hold us to the same benchmark as we won't give you an inch. We are awesome that way. Why are you so evil? As mass delusion was reaching a critical mass, here is a recap of the events so far. Work at Youth Center starts. Immediately some designated lords of Auroville, without any consultation with resident assembly, went to court, arguing Auroville is a forest. NGT categorically denied that it is a forest and asked a joint committee to be set up that will survey the area and prepare a report. Based on these reports, work will go ahead. While this was happening, they continued to put even more court cases against Town Development Council and Funds and Assets Management Committee. One was quashed and other was dismissed by a withdrawal, a coping mechanism used to continue the delusion that one day we will put a fresh case and win. That day is never coming, as any literate person can read the Foundation Act and see the governing board's function and power. And also see resident assembly's role. In fact, Ra must seek approval of governing board on most important matters. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. So then in July of 2022, the joint committee instituted by NGT itself, which had people like district collector and forest officers, you know who know a thing or two about forests and man-made plantations, inspected the area. They studied the tree cover and water body. After this study, these were the observations made by the team of experts. In fact, this report is so thorough it takes into account every single tree and how to minimize tree felling, terrain of dark alley, what trees will be transplanted, protection of amphibians and reptiles, birds nesting boxes among other things. So now, that the Crown Road was narrowed to 9.1 meters from 16.7, trees to be affected reduced and all the present realities, taken into account by the experts appointed by National Green Tribunal themselves. Surely, the self-proclaimed champions of, we are not against the development but we want to honor due process, will have no issue. Right? Wrong. Auroville doesn't need me, only a bunch of activists do. 
Ah, oh, the usual vague statements like, lack of transparency, it has been more than six months when the committee members came and surveyed the area and marked the trees. All the supreme beings saw them in broad daylight and again, chanting lies like mantras. And due process, of course, as we will see now, due process can never be allowed to happen in Auroville as long as these type of delusional minds are around. Look at the wording and level of deceit on display. Claiming to be members of ATDC, the 13th of October 2022 judgment has clearly reaffirmed what anyone with two brain cells can read in the Foundation Act. ATDC constituted by the governing board is the only legitimate one. But, what respect for due processes and for institution of justice on display here? Stop it. Get some help. Look at the level of entitlement on display. Every town has a municipal office. Right, this is Auroville's. Why don't you go and ask at the office? If some construction is happening on the street, are they obliged to show paper to every Tom, Dick and Harry on the site? Is this how reality works in your head? Oh, no, no. order is that you finish the full survey. No! You go check it. No, it's fine. Not Show my it's an official phone. thing. Are you stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does, sir. <laughs> what you are duty. doing is illegal. It's not By doing see, part see, survey and doing illegal. the work. Let him show us the... Collector is there, they are all... Yeah, yeah, show, show, show us the, show us the order. Hello, show us the order. That is what I... You, you, uh, Why? You come no, there. You're not government officer, come you have to me. show. Come with me. No. What a monster for inviting every randos to come with him to the office. What's the response? Come with me. No, this is the way the stalling happens. If people are interested, they could have come at any point and asked a lot of questions. Apart from obstructing, they have done nothing. And again, this victim narrative. Physical, verbal aggression. Women being slapped and manhandled. Where the hell is your proof? You surrounded the work site with cell phones and you can't muster a single shred of evidence. You just write something and people just swallow it. Is it a cult? Wait, I'll show you evidence, real soon. Again, no one is claiming anything. They are the authorized members as contested and lost in the court of law. At this point, you are in contempt of court for spreading misinformation. Wow, chainsaws left running a, eh? accusing poor workers who are doing their job of criminal negligence or intent to cause harm. Is there no level to which you will sink to? Let's watch this. Here is Natasha Neverending story, hijacking workers chainsaw while the guy just sits and waits. Do you think he knows online he is being accused of having criminal intent? Here is another chainsaw. Man I can really feel the danger in the air. Look the workers are forcing Natasha to hold two chainsaws. This is barbaric. When no shots for social media were working out, it was time to turn on the supramental dial. Look, how that silly ignorant criminal was not minding his own business, and chased poor women like Natasha and literally forced her to stick her hand in front of a chainsaw. You see with what desperation they try to force an incident. Imagine what could have happened to that worker's life. Here is another human unity sample, blatantly admitting after much argument that she won't put her hand in the chainsaw. The field in the works is, they're willing to put her hands in the chainsaw. switch off, ask her not to touch. Look, there's a chainsaw running, there's people very excited. Yeah, you are not excited. We her. want to stay, to keep the area clear. You are clear. You are so helping Campion is clear. Look, if the chainsaw is running, just don't touch it, please. Correct. Please. 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 We don't. And if don't she's it. touching it, and you saw what just no, happened. No, no, why? No, 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 that's not happening. No. She should not okay. touch it. If it's on, I will I not want to touch it. No, you sound insane. Do you realize that? You should be medicated. She said infuse spirit in matter. This is alive. Stop, stop and think for all then, you know. I can try. She didn't have to cut me off. Like while this was happening, in a desperate attempt to again stall the proceedings, this organic tomato Sandeep put a fresh case in NGT. The Joint Committee in its report has purely only studied Darkali. They haven't even entered Darkali. They stood outside the road at Darkali. We gave them a forestry list. The Joint Committee in its report has purely only studied Darkali. They haven't even entered Darkali. They stood outside the road at Darkali. We gave them a forestry list. We gave them a forestry list. Otherwise, they wouldn't even have a forestry list. Right? Finally, they didn't do any proper studies. Are you sure about that? How much of this blatant lying is conscious or has been brainwashed by his leaders? We don't know. 
Well, what we know is NGT refused to put a stay order. I mean when you go to NGT appealing that NGT appointed committee itself is a bunch of idiots. That's some next level psychosis right here. Now the question that we should be asking is why are these footage not shown by the bearers of righteousness? Why aren't more people asking them to show evidence and not tell US a kindergarten story of poor children being menaced by evil magician? By now it must be very clear that these are the last people to raise questions on integrity. So let's move on. Residents are shocked. Oh my god! Is this a Monty Python show? Reported by a reliable source. You mean the protester sitting next to you? <laughs> the only anti-social, anti-law elements here are you and as we will see in the coming videos, some real specimens of human intelligence will show up. Ah yes, God forbid if we ask you to do your own research. Consume our lies, follow our website. Don't question anything and keep doing our bidding. Why don't they respect their audience to have any intelligence or encourage people to find out the truth for themselves? Google is your friend. Auroville is not nor was it ever in any danger. Only your idea of what Auroville should be, that is in danger. And we are glad for it. Again same nonsense. Look at the text describing another fantasy story yet the video offers nothing. Where is your evidence for anything you say? against the ruling of the National Green Tribunal. How, can you show anything to prove your claim? Do you even understand what you are saying? You are a stupid. R finally managed to get some sensational content with potential to go viral. But as usual, if you look at it with a critical mind and not a brainless zombie, everything falls like a pack of cards. Let's examine. Hey. Who is manhandling whom? People trying to steal poor workers only means of livelihood. Look at how nonchalantly this lady holds the chainsaw with one hand. So brutal. So violent. Please someone help me out. Please someone help Ah yes. Audio for social media check. Please someone help. Why aren't you helping instead of trying to be social media influencer? Is it because you thrive on creating situations where someone can potentially get hurt and use that edited clip to stoke outrage online? Yes please, for the love of God, stop your drama. You hang on to workers' equipments, when they try and get it back, you don't do anything but scream stop, stop. Why don't you go and ask your fellow protesters to stop? Why don't you tell them, this is not the way to do anything, especially obstructing court-ordered work? Not okay. This needs to stop now. Please stop. For a moment, these divine beings thought the command is meant for them. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Stop, please, please stop. I dare you, please stop. Yes, please stop trying to take back your own equipment. I mean, what is wrong with these silly Tamil workers? No spirituality they have. So bad. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Please. Please. Now you tell me, are they interested in getting their equipment back or are they interested in manhandling these poor little helpless girls and slapping them? It's on. I will not want to touch it. Why are you the way that you are? Wow. Trees being cut as per joint committee report. How awful. Unprofessional and dangerous work. All right. When you stick your hands in working machinery and hang onto it like a child in a toy store, it does tend to create dangerous situation. When you crowd around falling trees, yes it can create danger. That's like taking your family for a picnic to a demolition site and complaining about the safety issue. <laughs> Some workers were even drunk on the job. Oh my god, how bad. Where is one second of clip that proves your non-stop slandering? Oh wait. I think I found it. What did you say? They are drunk. Cut. Cut. Another take please. This time really believe what you are saying. Can you see yeah. it? Can you not oh see gosh, it? Oh gosh, I can see it. Oh gosh, I can see it. Are you from the acting school of Troll 2? They're eating her. 
And then they're going to eat me. Yeah. Can, can you not oh sleep? gosh, I can see it. Cover them. Cover them. You are insane. That's all. They are not drunk. They're here to work. Don't be silly. You're lying. At this point, you look more inebriated than anyone else. Leave it. They're drunk. Hey, hey. You're mad. Nobody bought the stupid story. Ah well, back to our wrestling match then. Why would sane people get into altercation with so-called drunk people? Where are the good men of this peaceful community in all this? Are they all hanging back and recording this melodrama for social media with headlines like women were attacked and slapped? Ah. Mad, look at what you are doing! You're mad! I'd take drunk over insanity any day. At least, one can sleep off the drunkenness. What is on display here? Can't be cured from sleeping. No, you're mad. You're mad. You're obsessed. You are possessed and obsessed. You behave like idiot people. Actually, they were right about one thing. Women were physically assaulted. And that's perfectly okay as long as it is a woman you don't agree with. Well, Oh, oh, okay, now they're getting violent with me. Here is another angle that these specimens of human stupidity posted themselves. Let's take leave out. I think she means take her out for lunch. I mean these are kind yogis of highest order. Let's see their beauty in action. Yeah, thank you. That would be super. Thanks. Oh, oh, okay. Now we're taking it out. Kudos to this cabbage for standing there with his hands folded. Clearly, these are peace-loving individuals, certainly not looking to provoke and record any slip-up and slander people online. You are a psychopath. You are a psychopath. You're fighting? You are a psychopath. Are you fighting, Orana? I want you to leave because you are a psychopath and you're making everything worse. Look, look, Orana is fighting with me. I want you me. to go Violence. Away. Don't Please touch leave. me. You are violent people claiming to be spiritual. Let go of me. Let go of me. Let's go from here. Orana. You're going to prison. Look, she's constantly pushing and holding me. You will not see this on their website. Holding me. You're bringing such violence and such psychopathic horribleness to this she's, thing. She's constantly holding me. You're such a terrible person and you're bringing so much damage. At this point, I have no words to even make fun of these turnips. These type of turnips are pretending to be victims. Moving around in groups like a pack of hyenas. Let's take leave out. Yeah, thank you. That would be super. Thanks. It's enough. Oh. Singling out a woman while men stand there doing nothing. Just pointing a camera and hoping that their constant abusing will create some type of reaction that they will edit and post online. I have seen paparazzis with more ethics. Please someone help here. Please someone. Didn't I just predict this? Audio for social media. That's just sad. Here are some more footage that you will never find on their social media because then the charade would be over. Everybody is asking for a bit of adjustment and you guys are pissed Oh, we will come to your bit of adjustment real soon. But firstly, who is this everyone? Secondly, didn't you go to NGT yourself? Can anyone just come on the day of the court order being executed as say, hey can you just move your work a little? It's a bit inconvenient for me. Unlike you, these people are all holding responsible position and are held accountable for their actions. You went to NGT, NGT gave a thing, you, all, you guys went to NGT. Exactly. Thank you. Can't wait to hear her response to this. I don't know what you're doing. You guys went to NGT. The NGT has given the report. What's wrong with your ladies? Yeah. So the response to the question as to why you are opposing the NGT audit work, the court where they went themselves is, run back to the ashram with your ladies. Got it. This evil man again, asking them once more to go to the responsible authorities for all answers. How awful. There you go. Finally they admit it. They actually don't want to know the truth. They won't do anything necessary to know the truth. So that, they can continue to chant, no transparency, no transparency. Is there any video of them at the foundation office, asking to see the report and being denied? No. Instead they will stand on the street, blocking court-ordered work that they are well aware of, demanding that everything must be brought to them. 
knowing fully well that's not the procedure so it will never be done and hence the lying can continue. What a mind job. <laughs> Exactly. Thank you. These government officials who are just doing their job and politely asking direct offenders of NGT ruling to move out of the way are being portrayed as lawbreakers and violent people. There you go, they go to courts but in reality, they have zero respect for any rules and regulations. They scream about flexibility but anything less than, my way or the highway, is not acceptable to them. Again, you see how much respect they have for due process. Asking the officer to simply ignore that stupid NGT report. Instead follow these five randos, as they will show them, a new way. And this new way, please bear with. I'll show you and it is glorious. I admire his patience for taking time to explain the most obvious things. Poor officer, he doesn't know these frozen yogurts don't even know what an honest day of work looks like. Yes, where there is no issue. We will keep chanting there is an issue and obstruct court's order. We won't make any effort to even gain clarity for ourselves and until that happens, which is never, please don't do any work. Okay. Now we are coming to the core of the issue finally. Oroville has been a township under Ministry of Education since 1980. In 1988, Oroville Foundation was created under Human Resource Development. It's been 35 years since these Aurovillians went to the government themselves requesting their intervention because at that time, Sri Aurobindo society was the enemy. If the funds and assets don't belong to government of India, who does it belong to? This overripe mango, all they want is control. Control and power without any kind of accountability. Again I admire the officer's patience to still ask common sense questions. Wow, now they are pretending to be some endangered Amazonian tribe. Nice. Yes, till three seconds ago, you didn't know Auroville's assets belong to government of India. You are going to tell the offices what's the correct place and what's not. Don't rely on official reports or anything. Just trust me. I wouldn't trust you to breathe air in and out if it wasn't involuntary. You have said so many things that at this point, I don't think even you know what's your story. Yes, nobody should do any work, till I catch up with reality. Which will be never as I have invested too much in my delusion. Now there are two ways in which unclarity can exist. 
1. The outside world is dark and it is hard to see. Officer is literally holding the detailed joint committee report in front of their face and they still harp on there is unclarity. And that's the second way unclarity can exist. When you on purpose, blindfold yourself and refuse to see what's right in front of you. Good one. Do you think they took that gracious offer and went? No. Instead, something happened that totally exposed the true nature. You must have seen these divine beings singing of love and hope and collaboration in their marketing campaign video. Now watch what they actually think. First thing you should know is that it is not a forest, as per National Green Tribunal judgment. So you are in contempt of court. Here is the video from six years ago, uploaded by Lord of Darkly himself. Look what his bobcat says. Darkly Park, as it was always meant to be. But suddenly now it's a forest. A forest on which our very life depends. What bull? They came to cut trees down as per joint committee report and they told you multiple times to go to the concerned office and get all the details. Come with me. No. It seems confirmed. What? What the f Either something is confirmed or it seems. What is this? It seems confirmed. This must be the supramental level of journalism I have never seen before. Are you sure about that? Can you see yeah. it? Can you not oh see gosh, it? I can see it. Ah, oh, yes. Look at these poor souls trying to get the work order from inside the chainsaw. Can't even leave out young ones from your propaganda. How spiritual. Joint committee came and made the report and accordingly trees are being cut. The real question is why did you plant it there? Not presented or refusal to accept the offer to even see. Come with me. Oh. Every stupid movie has this, all is lost moment, where they all huddle together and cry for the humanity. How can we miss this moment? If you had any care for the fallen ones, you would have not planted them anywhere near this area. But of course, motive is to weaponize even the environment. Yes, as per the court order, where you appealed, a survey was done by professionals who found 575 trees. By reducing 16.7 meters right of way to 9.1 meters, they reduced the trees to be cut to 321. 36 will be transplanted. 285 will be cut. What is the issue? Not many more, you fear-mongering yogis. 285. As per the committee report. Say it with me, till it sinks in. More than seven months ago, they came and marked the trees. Here are the marked trees. And here are they being cut as per the marking. Oh another twist. Now, it is about adjusting it by 6 meters. Let's find more about this. Only shocking thing is how now Darkly is suddenly as forest. NGT rejected it. You knew it for years. But amazing how magic works. You see how they pretend to be helpless shock victim about something that is procedure and information has been there for 7 months. As per NGT order, to implement the plan passed by resident assembly. Jesus wept. Oh the implementation of the perfectly circular crown road is fanatical. Don't they give you this impression with everything they write that everyone else is an idiot? Apart from them of course. This is Auroville's crown road. A circular road system that connects all the distinct zones of Auroville. As you might know from middle grade education, circle is the shape of least resistance and all sides from its center is equal distance. Pretty efficient, right? According to Auroville's master plan, 
as passed by the residents' assembly and approved by governing board, the right-of-way is supposed to be 16.7 meters wide. This is already a reduction from 24 meters as proposed in the original master plan. Why do you need such a wide road? Because, this 16.7 meters is not all road. It includes road plus pedestrian path plus cycle path plus urban furniture like benches plus tree line. I know you are shocked. Also, underneath this right-of-way, runs infrastructure needed to power the entire city. Things like high-tension electric cable, water lines, wastewater system, street lamps, optic fiber etc. After the Joint Committee report, the entire right-of-way passage was reduced to 9.1 meter instead of 16.7, inside Darkley area only. Foundation accepted the decision as it came from the court. It is another matter that now, because of the narrowing of the right-of-way inside Darkley, all the infrastructure will have to lay down vertically. In some early estimates, this will cost Indian taxpayers. Crores and crores more. But that's a discussion for another day. Now we need 9.1 meter right of way inside Darkly. Right, first they said, why can't we go around trees? Well, it is not just a road. The infrastructure like high tension cables and water systems cannot be laid in this insane manner. By now we already know, when they say reality, it means it is part of our mass hypnosis. Categorically rejected in court and accepted by these OG yogis till six years ago, it is not a forest. Now, there is a precious water catchment area also. Oh, we will get to that real soon. Then they said, six meters deviation could have saved the trees. Like I said, they think everyone is useless at their work, except these chosen ones. Let's go six meters and see what they have to offer. This dirt road is supposed to be the main vein of connectivity of the township with all the infrastructures. According to National Green Tribunal verdict, it is 9.1 meter road. Tell me in which direction, can I clear 9.1 meter without cutting down trees? How can the town access emergency vehicles like ambulance or construction materials via this dirt road? Who is in contempt of court? Here is another view from top. This is the road that has been cleared. Tell me in which direction, a deviation of 6 meters has no trees. You see, the level of deceit and distortion, one has to do to protect its kingdom under the guise of environmentalism. It's free real estate. Who are fanatics now? People who are implementing a pre-decided, well-thought-out plan or geniuses who have admitted themselves to plant trees purposefully to block development and now are crying horse because these delusions are being shattered. Ah yes. Trees were violently cut as opposed to gently tickling them till they move out of the way. You never believed township could be built at all. Yes, the joint committee of NGT are useless people who couldn't understand ecological sensitivity. They didn't even wear turban and dirty clothes. And peaceful processes. Let's take leave You are you are a psychopath. There is no such thing as peacefully preventing court-ordered work. They should be booked under IPC section 186 for using social media to spread misinformation and creating law and order breakdown. At least they admit that it is shocking news that Darkley Park is now a forest suddenly. Yes, we know, Joint Committee made a detailed list of trees. And when NGT appointed officials give clearance to cut trees, irrespective of how rare it is, it can be cut. That is the due process that you keep chanting about. Oh my god! Wow! Sophisticated rainwater conservation system, A. Eh? Do you really want to see this sophisticated system vital for the future of Auroville and neighboring villages? Here is a clip from Dark Ali's own YouTube channel. This hole was dug by Gopal one fine summer day, because he was bored, I think. Mind you, no permission from any decision-making body or the Holy Resident Assembly was taken. I guess, it is his personal property. Anyways, this sophisticated water system is a hole he scratched in the ground, which without any fishes, is a breeding ground for mosquitoes. Since this water is not cleaned in any way, animal excrement are seeping into the aquifer thanks to this ultra-sophisticated hole in the ground. This mega-important hole lies totally dry most of the year around like shown here. But of course, they will put up the monsoon video and do shady maths. In fact, it is so vital for our survival, 
that the Joint Committee report simply asked it to be moved to another area. But why did the Joint Committee fail to see the importance of this ultra-mega hole in the ground? Well, because behind this area, lies the massive Irumbai Lake, which is recharging the aquifer of this entire area. As you can see, there is no comparison between lake that has existed for long and a hole dug in darkly six years ago. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. Here too much raining. <laughs> It is getting a bit tiring, going over the same nonsense again and again, so let's wrap it up. Now that's some extra effort to find content. This is private land that belongs to Michael Bonke, a friend of Auroville who has given permission, of course. This Auroville youth dreamt of being up on that particular tree on a private land instead of swathes of tree all around him. Makes sense. What's your problem? Ah yes, implementing a plan passed with 90% majority by yourselves is now fanatical and trying to derail the plans from ever being implemented by knowingly planting rare species of trees is supramental. I don't know where to even start. This is the power of resident assembly. This is the power of governing board. In what reality, can the implementation of master plan be paused by your idiotic voting? Governing board is the governing body of Auroville. You are the assembly of residents of Auroville. And International Advisory Council is the council that advises. The names are pretty self-explanatory. Why would any organizational framework give equal power to three different bodies? Have you not worked for a day in your life? We are the foundation! And this election that you keep harping on. When will you tell the world that it took place with voters list not updated since 2005? That it was counted by you without any neutral party supervision or that it was not an anonymous process or that voting took place in exchange of samosa and tea? Yes, canvassing happened at the voting booth. North Korea holds more legitimate elections. If this is back to reality for you, then I guess, somebody is not taking their pills on time. If your voice was being systematically silenced, you won't be here on social media and news channels peddling your melodramatic story and slandering people. It is more like your voice has been ignored. But then when you are unable to speak one sentence of honesty, when everything you say is so incoherent it hurts the brain of anyone who makes the mistake of taking you seriously, how can you blame anyone but yourself? Ah, next time don't plant them in the areas designated for other things. Remember that in any court of law, where facts matter, you will lose again and again. Nobody is denying climate change. But here again, they have taken a real issue and twisted it to save their own skin. The total Auroville master plan land area is 20 square kilometer. Even if you cover every inch of this land with trees, which was never the goal anyways, even then it will mean nothing in grand scheme of things. It is not an Amazon rainforest of 6.7 million square kilometers. It is a planted vegetation of measly size. Now, let's zoom in a bit and look at Darkali specifically. Darkali is 37.62 acres, not 50. That means 152,242 square meters. Crown Road that passes through Darkali is 434 meters long and at 9.1 meters width, that equals 3,949 square meters. That means it covers a mere 2.5% of Darkali's total surface area. Imagine, these rotten cabbages are harping about flexibility when they're unwilling to give 2.5% of the designated land for infrastructure development. Now, let's zoom back again and look at the master plan in its totality. About environmental impact. When you discuss environment, environmental impact, you discuss the impact of an intervention here on a wider environment. You don't discuss the impact of an intervention here, here. Of course, that's negative. If I cut a tree here, the impact on that place is negative. But you have to see the impact of that intervention in the wider environment. So if you see, for example, the Crown ROW, 16.7 wide, 4.3 kilometer long, is 0.36% of the master plan area. 0.36%. The crown, plus the 12 radials, plus the outer ring, plus the international zone loop, plus one access road from outside to Auroville, is 1.64% of the master plan area. Are we not able to keep 1.64% free from trees and buildings? What is the big deal? 
We have a green belt, which is three times the area of the city. Our green belt is 15 square kilometers in that plan. Now, we all know that the green belt will finally not become 15 square kilometers. For the simple reason there are villages, there are private development. Let us say it becomes only seven and a half kilometers. Seven and a half square kilometers, finally. The city has also 50% open and green. So you get two and a half open and green in the city, seven and a half effectively in the green belt makes 10. Built up in the city is two and a half. So you have a ratio of one to four. Name me one city in the world which has that type of a ratio. And of course, this is all acceptable to the hybrid papayas when they do it. Just a few minutes away from Darkali lies this area, which they completely flattened to the ground. And you know for what? Well, that's just silly. Silly, yes. Idiotic, yes. I think we have seen enough of this clown show. Now you get to decide what's the truth. Governing board, taking master plan with the approval of residence assembly, trying to implement it. Whatever hurdles came, facing it, accepting the decision and moving forwards towards that single goal. Implantation of the master plan is defined in the Foundation Act as its function. Oh are these handful of highly delusional individuals, comically calling themselves the Resident Assembly, who say it's a forest. Then it's a legal takeover of Oroville. Then due process is not followed. Then joint committee report is bad. Then no clarity. Then drunk men came and attacked us. Then safety process was not followed. Then Darkali had the water catchment system meant to save us all. Then it was about adjustment by 6 meters. It is a hallmark of liars to not stick to any particular issue for long, because they are hoping that if they spew 100 lies, at least one will work. Now, the new one is tree smuggling. We have tried our best to give you factual information and put as much of tangible evidence on screen as possible. It's a very simple equation, the way we see it. If they have so much of evidence, if so much of illegal stuff has been done in broad daylight, why don't they file a single complaint in police or court of law? Because they have nothing except this hollow outrage of misguided social media followers. Still, I'd encourage you to do your own research and come to your own conclusions. Everybody has enough intelligence to see the truth, provided your allegiance is the truth and nothing else. Keep asking questions and see if you even get a response from this stand for Auroville stupidity page. And most importantly, in today's world of social media, don't take anything on face value. Demand proof. To all the well wishes of Auroville, to the best of our ability to see, we can assure you that we are finally moving towards building the city. Days of blocking and stagnation is over and yes, that is exciting for everyone who wants to contribute to mother's dream. Always remember, one who has zero respect for your intelligence and only wants something from you in return will tell you a moronic story and expect you to swallow it like a child. But sometimes, the ones pretending to be victims, using social media trending words for sympathy, are the ones who are the real culprits. And that deception, is the antithesis of integral yoga, 